What is up, YouTube? My name is Hawkeye. Okay. And my name is Enigma Red. And welcome back to another Server Miner plugin review. Today's plugin is known as the Fake Players plugin by some users named Fromgate and Matthew Cowley, I think. Uh, what does this plugin do, sir? All right, so this plugin allows you to add fake players to your server for various reasons, mostly if you're lonely. Just as a quick note, this plugin actually requires the use of another plugin. It's called Protocol Lib, and it's by AADNK and D Malloy 2 Fantastic, all right, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so to get started, the first command that you need to use is slash FPO help. This command will give you all of the other commands that are given with the plugin. Basically everything listed here and you can see what each of the commands do. So starting off with FPO help, let's move on to FPO add. Okay, so what FPO add does is actually the main command of it all. It basically just adds a player's name into the tablet. So I'm gonna go ahead and add Ant Venom like so and as you can clearly see if i open the tab list his name pops up on the top of the list now for some reason his face pops up as a steve but you can basically trick people into thinking that and venom is actually on your server when in fact he would never be on here because he doesn't like any of us okay now the next command on the list is basically the complete opposite of adding it's fpo del for delete and then you can type in any name you want so i could type in enigma nati that name was on the list before it is no longer there which is pretty cool once again another fake player and i have no idea why he was even there when he wasn't here in the first place. All right, guys, and the next command on the list is actually slash FPO join. Now, what this command does is instead of just adding the player to the list and sort of tricking people without actually showing them logging in, this command, however, you can type in any name and it'll show a message saying that they popped onto the server, but it says, quote, fake. Why does it say, quote, fake? <laughs> I believe that you can remove that in the actual config files. Gotcha, okay, okay, that would be helpful. All right, and again, the next command is the opposite of the last. This one is slash FPO leave. Basically the same thing as the last one. This time, it's basically them just disconnecting. It comes up as a message, basically as if they were really here. And the last command, for myself anyway, is slash FPO list. Now what this command does is it brings up all of the players that are currently fake on the server. These are players that actually, you know, don't exist or whatever, and you can see who's fake and who's not this is an exposing command <clears throat> Sorry. All right. So now one of the coolest commands on here, if you ask me, is actually slash FPO lock. Now what this does is it allows any opt players to sort of close down your server so that basically the regular players on your server aren't able to come on. So you can kind of organize or build or whatever uninterrupted. So you can set stuff up on your server. So it's on. They could see that, but they know that they're not welcome. And now let's actually do it. Oh, no. Yes. So now Hawk Aim is not actually or I'm sorry, who <laughs> Hawk MC is is not actually okay. opt so he will be going and saying bye bye in just a couple of seconds i uh there he goes he is no longer welcome in my party and i would ask him to leave now um okay sorry all you have to do is do is put the command in again and the server is unlocked and open for everyone to come back on in yes there it goes oh, did you have a good time that. outside of the party sir feelings are still hurt you you're sure? not welcome here all right so one of the useful commands that you're going to find is slash fpo slots and what you're going to do is you're going to pick a number of the maximum players that you want on your server so i'm going to pick a ridiculous number like one million and now that that's there i'm going to double check slash fpo slots and right now it's disabled we're gonna do that one more time to make sure it's enabled we're gonna log out and you should see that the player slots is actually at 1 million so theoretically you can let a million players on your server now isn't that cool okay so now another cool thing that you can do is you can actually edit or alter the amount of players that looks like it's online despite how many actual fake players are online so I'll explain that by doing slash FPO and we're gonna do online and let's pick a big number like 50 so now their counter is set to 50 so so let's log off there and you can see that there are 50 out of a million players online so even though we only have just me and hawk mc here it's actually 50 players it looks like is online so when people go to your server they're like wow this server looks really really busy let's hop on you know they may feel a little fool that's only two people but hey that's the way life is all right so another really cool thing that you can do is you can change the server message you know in the server list you can actually change the message of the day m-o-t-d now this will allow you to use color codes the formats so there will be a link below on the formats that you can use but i'm going to use basics like instead of the sos sign that you'll see a lot of places we're actually going to use the ampersand which is the and sign e youtube serve 
Minor. Minor. And let me go back over here and we're gonna put minor as, uh, I forget what the code for yellow is, but we're gonna just do something like that. And now, see, now it's yellow and then red. And there you go. YouTube server is in yellow and minor is in red. So you can change all that. You have to look up the codes and it's really cool. You can actually do two lines by doing backslash N to get a new line, but that's a whole nother ball game. Alrighty, we're almost done here. So it's slash FPO server list. And that one will actually alter the number that associates with this here the player so now it's only showing one player which is mr. Hawk MC and it doesn't show the 50 anymore so if we enable that again you'll see that the 50 actually shows up so that has to do with the amount of players that you're showing online if you want to quickly change it all you have to do is slash FPO server list and that will toggle whether or not you have the actual number of players online or the fake number that you have all right so now the last thing is because all of this can get really confusing one command that will help you sort of keep track of it all is slash FPO CFG or config that actually doesn't configure anything it shows you what you're configuring configuration is so to show you basically the stats that you have in list if you have any NPC players we're not gonna get into that because that requires the use of yet another plugin citizens that we're not gonna get into here but you can actually have that in and have NPCs as actual players or mobs that look like they're logged in and they can be you can interact with it's too much to get into for this review but this is really cool because it keeps you up to date with exactly what all your settings are so you know where you stand and that's pretty much all for all the commands and that's it all right guys and that pretty much sums up the entire plugin. If you guys enjoyed somehow, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and would you care to tell the people how exactly they can install this plugin on their servers, jerk? Okay, well this one is a little bit more difficult because it requires two plugins. First, you have to go to your server minor control panel. Then you're gonna look on the left-hand side where you're gonna find the files tab. You click that, you look for bucket plugins, and when the text field for the search of the actual plugin comes up, you're gonna type fake players online. When that page pops up, the individual page, you're gonna hit install. When once it's done, then you're gonna go back to the same search list in the bucket plugins and you're gonna do protocol lib. Once that page pops up, you're gonna hit install, then you restart your server and you're good to go. Beautiful man, I like how you did that there. And we will see you guys in the next server minor plugin review. Peace out, dudes. Later.